I am pretty sure this is the biggest Goodwill haul I have ever done. Come along and shop with me. I start my day at the Goodwill Outlet, which is also known as the Goodwill Bins. Let's see what I can find. shopping at the bins and I got a full cart I'll show you right now everything that I got but I need to go put it in my trunk and then head to the next two Goodwill stores and I do this every time I go to Goodwill I hit up like all of them in one day the bins opens an hour before the rest of the Goodwills do so I like to hit the bins first and then by the time I'm done there the other ones are already open I got a whole bunch of stuff here some big stuff and I like to ask for a separate price for those big things but I think that this was definitely a score and my favorite find of today was definitely this bag right here this thing I looked it up online is retailing for around $90 used on used markets but I did have some bad news it's pink and it's real slippery well, my plans changed really quickly. Um, when I got out to the car, um, my family was waiting out there running the heater, and it turns out that there was coolant coming out of the exhaust. So I walked around the back, and I was putting stuff in the trunk, and I noticed a red puddle under the exhaust. And it's normal to have water coming out of the exhaust, like condensation. But it was red, and I was like, that's really weird. Why is it red? So I asked my husband, I was like, hey, what's the, what's the deal with this? Why is this puddle right here really red? And he was like, oh, that's probably coolant because he had just put coolant in the other day because he noticed the reservoir um, was low. And the coolant he put in, he likes to use the red coolant. It's like an orangey red color. So that means there's something very seriously wrong with our engine in our car, potentially blown a head gasket. So we are taking that car to the dealer right now and hopefully they can fix it without any issues yeah so my rest of my trip today going through shopping has definitely ended which stinks but i'm really glad we bought that extended warranty okay so it is the next day now we took the car to the dealer it got fixed it turns out we just had a radiator leak hopefully that's all it's going to be and it's a funny story because when we got to the dealership 
um, the exhaust was not dripping anything. And my husband was like, I don't understand. It was like sprayed everywhere. There was antifreeze everywhere. And when we got there, it was like dry. And so I think what, what actually happened was that magically somebody else's car was leaking coolant and we drove over it and it splashed up and looked as though it was coming out of our exhaust. But it's kind of like a, a God wink there because it turns out we had a radiator leak. And so they replaced our radiator. It was under the GM warranty. So we didn't even pay a single dollar for it. Thank God. So now we get to go thrift shopping again a couple days later.
welcome back to Desert DIY. If you are new here, my name is Corey. Today I have the world's biggest Goodwill haul and it is full of lots of cottage decor as well as traditional home decor that I think you're really going to enjoy. I went to five different Goodwill stores as well as the Goodwill bins on several different days and I got a ton of amazing stuff and I actually found some really great prices. I think I spent about $150 for all of this, although I will add it up and let you know at the end of the video. Let's check out what I got. The first piece is this little teapot. I think it was so cute having that crest on there, that shield with some pretty things. I don't know what the shield stands for, but I just thought it was adorable. And this was $2.99. Next, I got this wire basket. It was $1.99, and I think it could go with any style home decor. With spring coming, I thought this was a perfect addition to my home because I like to store things in pretty boxes. That way, if you don't have a lot of storage in your home, you can store things in plain sight and it won't look ugly in your home. This was originally from Home Goods at $9.99 and I got it for a steal at the Goodwill bins. I couldn't believe it was in such good condition. Next, this beautiful birdcage wall hanging was only $3.99. It has a distressed white finish and it came with these clips, although I have more of them that I can add to it. And I think this would be adorable for a springtime cottage decor style. Oh, my next piece is so heavy, but this was my favorite thing that I got in this whole haul, I think. Not only is it florals, but it's in a blue and white vase. I feel like it pretty much said my name on it. <laughs> Look at how pretty. I'm sorry if there's so much glare. Usually pieces this large are quite expensive at Goodwill, but this one was only $9.99. Can you believe that? I have another painting and another painting, <laughs> and I'll show you those later on in the hall. These beautiful vases were only $2.99 a piece. They're quite large and I love how sparkly they look. I'll have to show you how they look in the sun. Next, I have this beautiful carnival glass flower. It looks a little bit like a hibiscus to me, which is really popular here in Houston, Texas. This was $1.99. I got this brass pineapple that comes with a nice stand. It's very heavy. It was $1.99. And pineapples are supposed to be a symbol of, I believe, hospitality. And I think that would look really nice in anybody's home. It's a very traditional piece, but could also go cottage or modern. Speaking of springtime and florals, I got this box of flowers in really good condition. It was just missing a flower right in here. But check this out. I found this rose at the Goodwill bins, and it looks like it was absolutely made for this piece. So I'm just going to stick it in there right now and fix this up right here. This was $3.99 at Goodwill, and this was probably only just a few cents at the Goodwill bins. I love finding florals at the Goodwill bins because they're so lightweight, you hardly pay anything for them. My next piece is this tray. It is like a resin material, although it looks like wood, and it is the brand Southern Living at Home. I feel like this could stay as is or it could be painted and distressed. I feel like with how beat up it is on the back, I would probably paint it and distress it. But this was from the Goodwill bins. Speaking of distressed, this piece was broken. I found it in the Goodwill bins. But I think what I'll do is just remove all of this section here and have it be open and just face this way forward. This piece is very large and it would have been quite pricey anywhere else that you had bought it from but since I got it from the bins and it's fairly lightweight I'm guessing I spent around two dollars for it. This I'm not sure if I've shown in a past haul I can't remember I have a terrible memory but I got this from the Goodwill bins and it's white I feel like I want to distress it a little bit just because it's a little bit beat up I want to make it look a little more intentional and then put some cute pillows inside there or blankets. This clock is the epitome of adorable cottage decor it has the brand Classic Treasures on it. It was $2.99 at Goodwill, and it has a beautiful floral pattern on it. These two beautiful ceramic boxes were $2.99 a piece, although it's kind of faded, you can't see them. 
but look at all the detail that they have on them. What a steal of a deal. And they're adorable. They're exactly the same. I feel like staging them together would be cute or putting them on top of different book stacks or in your bathroom to hold your toiletries would be so adorable. Blue and white is always a favorite of mine. I thought this was really cute with the wheat on there and I thought these stripes were adorably vintage. It's pretty clean inside. It has some crazing, which I think makes it even cuter. And this was $2.99. I found an entire set of these placemats at the Goodwill bins. I'm not quite sure how to wash them. So if you know how to wash this type of material, please let me know in the comments down below. They do have a little bit of some spots on there from food, but they're otherwise in really good condition. I think these are timeless and can go with any decor style. Now I have this glass jar here with the wooden top this was $2.99 and I feel like these are so versatile I see a lot of people decorate with them and they have such a cute vintage look but with this wooden top it really screams cottage to me you can have it sitting this way this way that way I think it's a really versatile piece that could go anywhere in your home next I have these two pieces that were from this one was from um, Goodwill for $2.99 and this was from the Goodwill bins this is an adorable chinoiserie print. I do not like the current flowers that are in there. I think it clashes. So I will put a different type of greenery in there. And that makes for the perfect cottage decor. Little cute stuff like that. And these are in perfect condition. So I have tons and tons of things that I can put this in. <laughs> Just things waiting for flowers and greenery. So I will let you know what I end up putting these in. This is a bowl that I got. It's the brand Sakura Table Farm Stand Vegetables Edition. It was $1.99. It has a beautiful little carrot design on there. And then this reminded me so much of Mackenzie Childs. And I think this would look really cute with a little picture frame stand on a kitchen counter for Easter or spring in general. And I think that was a really good find. They had another one that was yellow with corn in there, but I just thought that corn is a little harder <laughs> to decorate with, especially around this time of year. So I stuck with just the carrots. This beautiful glass bowl has a scalloped edge on it that I think is really unique and absolutely beautiful. It's a delicate design that I think it makes it very unique. This was $2.99 and I love it so much. Next are these two bird prints that are on a canvas. They were $2.99 a piece. I think that a lot of people underestimate their wall space when they're doing um, seasonal decor. And one way that I wanna decorate more seasonally this year is to actually change up my wall decor seasonally. So something like this that is really affordable that you can change out easily because it's really lightweight is a really fun thing to thrift because you can make your whole entire home have the feel of whatever season that it is or holiday that it is and it's really easy to do and it's easy to store it as it is in your storage closet or in your attic and i think these are a great example of that and you can't beat that price 2.99 this basket was 4.99 and it has some dividers inside that I think make it a little more useful. It looks really cute with the lid on the bottom as well. So this would look really good in a craft room, I think, or in a bathroom. And you could put a tissue box in here, wipes or extra toothbrushes or toothpaste or whatever it is that you want to do. Or you can decorate it with flowers in each one of these and it would be a beautiful um, arrangement for anywhere in your home. Another great piece that I thrifted for $3.99 that is really good for organization is this piece right here. I love this color. It's a very traditional dark stained um, wicker and I think that this would go great next to an entryway on your entryway table to collect your mail or you can have it in uh, an office or wherever else you think. Maybe even a craft room if you like to do paper crafting. This is my second favorite thing that I got in my haul today. It is a mug rack and it is in a raw metal finish. I got this from the Goodwill bins. I could not believe it. A couple of these are a little bent, but that'll be so easy to fix. This is a farmhouse style piece of decor, but it can be used in traditional or cottage style or even modern home decor as well. Next, I have this cut glass bowl that was $3.99. I love the design in it. I think it sparkles so well and the size is really great. 
I like finding wreath forms at the Goodwill bins because they're so lightweight that they're almost free. So I got this from the bin. Another wreath that I found was this beautiful metal wreath and it has a distressed gold finish on it. I could see this working in a really rustic um, home decor or for Christmas decor or for spring if you have a more farmhouse um, classic design style. Something that I like to do is mix and match some dishes and turn them into something completely different. I found this cloche for $2.99 and these plates were $1.99 a piece and I can turn this into a beautiful cloche with a plate underneath and then the other plate I can use on top of a candle stand. This checkerboard is so unique. It is made of brass and copper. It seems handmade and it has aged to perfection and it has a red velvet backing that definitely needs some cleaning. But I thought this was extremely beautiful. I would actually decorate in a kitchen with this. I would put my kitchen decor in front of this and lean this against my backsplash as a beautiful background. This little table I have seen a bunch of over the years and they're supposed to look extremely distressed but this I think took it a little more extreme. <laughs> I got this from the Goodwill bins and it's not an antique it is a reproduction and I'm going to do something to touch it up on the top because I think it's just a little too distressed for my taste but the sides I think look pretty good. Here is another adorable distressed looking piece it was only $1.99 can you believe that? Look at how cute the glass is very fragile and it's just in there freely. I have to adjust it but I thought this was something that is just so unique and perfect for a lot of different seasons to decorate with but especially spring with the little pops of green. Here's something funny speaking of trash to treasure <laughs> I got a brand new trash can at the Goodwill bins for five dollars. This is going to go in my craft room because I need a trash can in there. Next I have this cute little bunny with a flower pot and then I have this little pot as well that says home and it's in perfect condition. I got both of these from the Goodwill bins. Here's a little bit of things I got all together at the bins. I got this wooden sign which I think would be great to put a little garden sign on there. I got this adorable basket and then I also picked out some flowers that were in an arrangement in the Goodwill bins and I just ripped them out of that arrangement and left the the pot there and the rest of the flowers that I didn't like. That is something that you can do when you're shopping at the bins is only take out the flowers that you want. You don't have to take the entire arrangement. I'm always looking for Port Marion and this is a good example of what I can find. These were 99 cents a piece and they have flowers as well as the month on there. So I have February, March, September, and January. January is so pretty. I don't have the whole set but I thought these were so neat and somebody may want to get these and then start their own collection. So these will end up in my booth or I don't know I might keep them. <laughs> I got these cute lemon salt and pepper shakers. I think it's not very cool that they sold them separately at $1.99 a piece. I feel like $1.99 for the set would have made more sense. But I still got them because I love lemon decor and I'm going to actually be doing a lemon decor makeover on my massive dining room hutch so stay tuned for that in my next video. This little lantern is all metal. I got it from the Goodwill bins. It was originally $60. I can't believe that. Where would this have sold for $60? This is tiny. Look how small it is. $60? Guys. I'm not charging that in my booth. <laughs> this is going to go in my booth for my Valentine's Day decor section. I thought that it was really cute and lanterns are always great, especially during the springtime when everybody's decorating their yards. I got two more lanterns as well from the Goodwill bins. And then I also got this cute gray and white basket that was in perfect condition. This one's actually a vinyl material, so that is why it's not broken at all. Small little paintings and framed art like these are really cute ways to add decoration or cottage style to oh you know that's upside down cottage style to your <laughs> bookshelves or in your kitchen or anywhere in your home this one needs a little bit of a repair but this one is in great condition it's actually a little quilt how adorable 
And then it says little quilt art on the back and gives a little bit of information. This came from the bins and this was $2.99 at Goodwill. Another picture that I got is this one here. This is actually a Kirkland's piece of art and I got this from the Goodwill bins. And since it's lightweight, I know it was very cheap and a steal of a deal. This is perfect for fall decor, so I'll be putting this away until next fall. Then I have this sign right here, which I'll read to you since my camera is backwards. It is a quote from Ernest Hemingway that says, Wisdom, before you act, listen. Before you react, think. Before you spend, earn. Before you criticize, wait. Before you pray, forgive. Before you quit, try. And this was originally $14.99. I thought that was really cute and would look cute next to my books um, since it's an Ernest Hemingway quote in my booth. Speaking of books, I got this really cool etiquette book that is from, I believe, the 50s. Let me check. 1950. Yep. Copyright 1950. Revised edition started in 1927. So these are some old school etiquette rules. Next, I have a book called The Renaissance. And it is just a really pretty looking book that I think would look good with my um, antique Valentine's decor style I'm putting in my booth. Here is another book. It says Getting the Most Out of Life. And I think it has a beautiful age to it. And that will go in my booth. All of the books that I get from the Goodwill bins are 50 cents a piece. Here's another book that I'm going to be selling in my booth. It is called Quilting for Baby. I feel like quilting is a niche that people love to buy books for. <laughs> then I got this for my son. And then here is another quilting book, although this one got some moisture on it. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to sell it. Let's see how it looks without its cover. Actually, this is a really pretty book. <laughs> what do you know? I do need to dry it off a little bit. We had a lot of moisture recently because of a lot of rain and it was in my garage so it got a little bit damp but everything inside the book is nice and dry. So this uh, ended up being two dollars. It's missing all of its knobs and I actually had to hunt for one of the drawers because it was missing at the time but this would look really good uh, stained with a nice gel stain to fix a couple of the spots that are a little messed up or I could paint it in a beautiful cottagey color. Next I have this beautiful boxwood wreath. It is faux boxwood. Real boxwood would be falling apart but this looks beautiful as it is and you can change it up with different decor all throughout the year. With Valentine's Day coming up I like to go to the dollar store and buy little heart picks and stick them inside here. Here is a cute little windmill that I got from the bins just somewhere in the, in the bin and I think this actually would look cute on my wooden sign here. So I might combine these together. What do you think? Here is another painting that I got. It is vintage. It says La Coqueta by Puyet. And I believe that means like the flirt or like he's picking up on her. <laughs> it does need a little bit of repair. I'm going to try to color match those areas. But this is beautiful and I will be painting the frame in gold. And on the back it has a little bit of information about it. I feel like it's probably from the 60s with this print. What do you think? This is a beautiful hydrangea watercolor that I think is perfect for spring. Hard to pick up these paintings for you when they have glass on them, but it's in excellent condition and the frame is really beautiful as well. Here is an adorable chartreuse yellow green basket that I think would look really beautiful hanging on the wall or laying on a coffee table with some orbs inside. That was from the bins. This is also from the bins. Here is a bunch of blues and jazz artists on records. We recently uh, got a record player and have been listening to a lot of great stuff. So there's a lot of Louis Armstrong or Louis Armstrong. I believe we prefer it to be called Louis. So very neat. It's mostly Louis Armstrong. I got two of these super beautiful spring wreaths and the price tag on there says $69.99. So excellent. I got these from the bins. My last piece is this adorable little trinket box in a heart shape. Again, so perfect for Valentine's Day and it was $2.99. If you were wondering, I did thrift this as well.
Hello and welcome back to Desert DIY and the wind is blowing my hair in my eye and it rhymes. It's a poem. You're welcome. Hello and welcome back. Why, why am I holding my belly like I'm pregnant? Okay. I don't know if that picked up to sparkle or not. <laughs> oh. I found an entire set of these beautiful, what do you call these? Place mats. Ay, ay, ay. And I think that it's a really versatile, versatile. There's an airplane right now, so whoever's flying into Houston, please speed up a little bit. <laughs> <clears throat> I would actually decorate with it. You hear them? Every time I go to talk, the exhaust goes, okay. Getting really windy again. Some people, well, I hope somebody's okay. These cars, man, I swear, they really like to announce their presence. Oh, another heavy one. Oh, shoot, I forgot to do this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw today, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can see more. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday. See you next time. Bye.